You know, I often look into heaven and ask, what are we supposed to do now? Well, I think that question is before a lot of us as we're in the shadow of COVID-19. And we're asking, what are we supposed to do now? Well, that question deserves a Christ-centered answer. And here's our answer, first of all, to you. We want you to know that we're thinking about you and your family as you face this question. We're praying for health and for peace for you and your loved ones. And we encourage everybody on our team and all of our friends, be encouraged. God is faithful, he's compassionate, he is mighty, and we can trust his word. You know, Philippians 4 essentially says, we don't need to be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition and thanksgiving, let our requests be made known to God. And then the peace of God that passes all understanding will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So with guarded hearts like that, we also are praying for the health and safety of the many vulnerable women and girls who are wondering themselves, what are they to do when their risks are now heightened? One of our field partner leaders is in the Middle East and she had to answer that question. What am I supposed to do now when she learned that the virus is infecting people throughout the refugee camp, the Syrian refugee camp? The women and girls who are already without bare necessities and are in danger of abuse and trafficking are now at risk of a serious life-threatening illness. So she jumped into action. She organized a team to quickly put together health kits that had soap and sanitizer, and she mobilized men and boys, I love this, who are in the ministry's carpentry skills program. She wanted them to take these kits to all of the tents, as many of them as she could afford, and uh, our co-worker wanted these men and boys to be seen as providers and protectors of those who are vulnerable. Well, we know that each family member in those plastic tents will remember the tender care of those who help them out of the love of Jesus. Oh, it's out of that love that we would love to do so much more. So what is she is saying doing now? Well, stories like this illustrate we keep on going. Yes, we're protecting our family and friends and others by washing our hands and um, disinfecting surfaces and practicing safe distancing as well as we keep on caring for, keep on helping those who are near and far. And we keep on praying, we keep on working, we keep on equipping women and girls to be safe and free. We keep on giving thanks to you. Thanks for you, for your continued support and your prayers during this crisis. And in these challenging days, I just want you to know I'm so very grateful that we are in this together to shine God's love. Thank you.